The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. For the first time in five years, Carson Newman takes a series against the top 25 team. It's the first time in a decade the Eagles take a series against a nationally ranked conference opponent, taking both games against Lenore Ryan. Coach, I know you're jotting down some notes, but uh, plenty, plenty of guys contributed to this one today. After yesterday, losing 12-4 against this kind of team with still two great starting pitchers that they have, to take two today, what kind of emotions do you have? Oh, they're, it's amazing. I mean, it was, uh, like you said, what happened yesterday, and it, listen, it's a top it's a top 20 team. It is, uh, as we said, top to bottom, experienced hitters, you, you can't take a break, and the pitching staff is outstanding, got quality arms. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it was tough, and, you know, we needed – we talked about it. Listen, we can't try to watch what they do or see what they do, and yet we've got to just be the best version of ourselves. We can just play against the baseball. That's it. Have great attitude and effort, communicate well, and just have some good energy and positive energy. And um, you got to have good pitching, like you said yesterday. You know, the starting pitching. Uh, Shaver limited the damage and was able to kind of stay in there. And I thought Pridmore was very gritty in his performance. You know, gave up some runs, but then was able to kind of keep us there. And offensively, we had a lot of guys contribute. And sometimes, as we were saying, just infield hits, you know, just getting a ball in play against that staff. We were talking two strikes, we got to find a way to just get a ball in play and see what happens, especially with a runner at third, something on the ground that we can score. Um, and then I think base running-wise, uh, good job getting a scoring position. Guys like Will Gibbs getting on base with, you know, kind of choppers and the speed getting the first, just to extend innings. Um, and I thought James Denton had some really good at-bats for us as well. And, and overall, Spencer Bright, both games, again, when pitching does well, a lot of it is indicative of the catcher, and I thought Spencer Wright and Frankie Delgado there in the end did a really nice job for us. It felt like a heavyweight fight because in the first game, you trailed in four different innings when you came to the plate. You were able to somehow muster something, then boom, two-run home run, one-run game there in the ninth. You're able to stick it out, win that ball game. Game two, you're able to take that lead after falling behind in the first two innings. You give up a run in the top of the seventh. Frankie Delgado draws a walk there in the bottom of the seventh inning, and you're able to manufacture something from that point. Uh, the growth that your team has had. You started the year 6-11. and 11. It was a real struggle at the very beginning of the season to win games like you did today. Yeah. Uh, can you sit back as a coach at this point and, and realize the growth that this group has had? That's a, it's a great point. And you, you've been very insightful about, you know, as coaches, you know, we see some of the things and we've got kind of, you know, blinders on. And you were able to point out a lot of things uh, that open our eyes into what this club has certainly done. And, yeah, I mean, you know, we talked about what we have lost. But the resiliency to be able to compete against a club like that um, and even go on the road to Newberry and, and with a, a good club like LMU. Yeah, and, and, it, and it has everything to do with the people in that locker room. It's the players. They got to believe in themselves. They have to believe in their teammates. They have to give belief to their teammates. You need someone that can spark it. You know, somebody's got to give ignite it. Someone's got to be an igniter, whether it's a, a big pitch to get a double play whether it's only giving up one run versus a crooked number, whether it's a guy drawing a walk, you got to have someone's got to be a playmaker and just do what they're capable of doing. But it is extremely gratifying, and I think our coaches, Coach Tangle, Coach Sophia, with our pitching staff, the bullpen was really good today. They have done a good job with these guys. Uh, Coach Griffin and Coach Krobe, I think, have done a great job getting our hitters prepared and having a plan. Um, so it's it's everybody. It, it takes everyone to be successful. And it's just like you guys, SID, you take a lot of pride in what you do. You put out a great product. And, you know, I think there's something that trickles down to everything. You know, I think it goes from, you know, the president of our university, what his expectations are, to our administration, you know, all the way down to the professors and what our mission statement here. All of that matters here as far as the type of people we're going to be on and off the field. And, you know, karma, it's a real thing, man. Things, things will happen sometimes if, you know, if you do the right things on and off the field and you have a good servant heart. Good things off. That's all we're trying to teach these guys, as well as some other uh, characteristics that they can use the rest of their life. You've played 12 of your 20 conference games, have been decided by two runs or fewer. You're 9-3 and three in those games. What's the ultimate difference with your group right now? 
That's a good question, man. I, I think that it, it starts with the guys on the mound. You know, I think guys like Noah Pridmore and the Jake Wrights. And, you know, look at what Harbin did. I mean, look at the growth of, of, of Harbin here in the last couple years. To put him in situations we put him in, that is just a confidence factor. And that's what this game is. It's all about confidence. And how does each individual get that confidence? Well, you gotta you got to taste some success. you got to work hard. you got to believe in yourself. And your teammates have to believe. In you. So there's a lot of factors on why that's happening. But, I mean, it's a, it's a blessing. And then, again, you know, to compete against that group over there, it's, it's a, that's a tough, that's a tough-nosed group. Um, that's a very satisfying win. I hope our guys enjoy it tonight. They deserve to enjoy it. Get rest tomorrow and, and get ready for a Monday training day. Coach, really appreciate the time. Enjoy this one. Appreciate all you do, Michael. And thank you for the insight to, <laughs> to help us uh, see the game a little better. You're welcome. He is Coach Tom Griffin. I'm Michael Watchering for the Eagle Sports Network.